when I was younger, I think much of the time, I think when I was in high school, For much of it, if I if I remember correctly, I used to dress in a certain type of way to be accepted by, I guess, a category of people. At first, I guess it was not really my idea to dress in that type of way. But if I were to wear, I guess, affordable clothes, I think certain people would mock me or look down upon me say mean things to me, I believe, until I guess I conformed to how they wanted me to be in a fashion type of way, I guess I can say. And if I remember correctly, it was not only with clothes, but I think it was in some other things. So I think some of the things I did in my past, I guess at first, it was not really my idea to do it. I wanted to be accepted and not look not looked down upon and then as i get older to a certain extent i started to do I guess I can say I started to do more bad things. So I think the root of it was to be accepted. Then as I got older, to a certain extent, I continue on with it. And I guess somewhat continued with that type of mentality. Look now. Like, um, <laughs> there was, I guess, a phase where I don't know if many people do it now. I think many people wear skinny jeans and all that stuff there. But back then, I think there was a time where tall tees, like really long t-shirts were fashionable. You know, if you look at it, I think it looks very tacky and on a male. Kind of, I guess, looks like a skirt or dress maybe a dress, like feminine stuff. I think, <laughs> I think too, like <laughs> at one time, men wearing, I think some men wear pink shirts. I am not saying all pink shirts are feminine, but I guess the way that it was back then, I think 
it was really popular for, I guess, boys to wear like pink tall tees. So really long t-shirts. I think some people would wear pink headbands and pink like shoestrings. Like it was really, I think it went too far. from what I understand now, or think I understand. You may be a woman or girl. You may see many women or girls wear really tight clothes. Maybe you are the type of female that don't want to show your body off. Maybe you want to wear not overly large clothes, but clothes that make you look modest. Clothes that hide your shape. But you may fear if you wear proper clothes, some women may look down upon you. You may fear some women may, or girls, girls may speak poorly about you. You may fear that I guess some girls or women may not want to be your friend or hang out with you. Look now. Never do something that is wrong to be accepted. Look at the way I dress now. <laughs> I wear this thing here. I don't care. I dress in very, very cheap clothes. I dress nothing like, nothing close, I guess I can say, in many ways. Some ways maybe, but in many ways, no. I dress very, very, very cheaply. Very cheaply. My mind frame is far from how it used to be from the past. Hey, if someone tells me, Kevin, you wear cheap clothes, I don't care. If you aren't buying me any clothes, <laughs> why should I care? Like, if you cared so much about me wearing, if you really cared about me, about my clothes, I guess, wouldn't you buy me some? So if you aren't going to buy me some, if what I am wearing is not wrong, hey, who cares about your opinion about the way I dress? I used to spend a silly amount of money on brand name clothes. A silly amount of money. Now, if you want to buy brand name clothes, that is your choice. But to me, paying 50, 60, 80, or whatever dollars on jeans is not wise. For me, it is not. Paying 40, 50, 30 dollars for a shirt, collared shirt, 
I guess a brand name shirt is not wise for me. Let me go to Walmart. Let me go somewhere where there is clearance to where I can find a shirt for $3 or $10 or $5. Maybe $10 is a bit too high for a t-shirt. Maybe for like a sweater or something. Maybe $10. But let me find something cheap. You know to wear stop thinking about rejection so much which I believe we all have to overcome that but at least don't do evil. Don't do things that are wrong to fit in. Yes, you may not have as many friends, but if you have to do evil to be someone's friend, are you really their friend? Like, what type of friend would make you do evil to be their friend. If that is the case, I think that person don't really think too much of you. Like, I don't think that person has much respect for you, if I say so. I think many people you may see as a friend is not really your friend. If you say, if you say you have 100 friends, maybe three of them are your actual friend, friends. I think there is no way you actually have real 100 friends, no. If the way you are is not wrong, if the way you dress is not wrong, and if someone is not willing to accept you for the way you are, move on. Don't dress like a prostitute to be someone's friend. Don't dress like a harlot to be able to hang out with some people. Don't tattoo your face and pierce all this stuff here and all the way down your ear and tongue ring and tattoos on your forehead. Don't do that to be accepted. If you have no tattoos, if you don't sag your pants off your behind, and if someone sees you as a square or whatever, square. <laughs> That is an old word, huh? If someone sees you as a square, move on. You don't have to be everyone's friend. You don't have to be in the popular group. Build up your self-esteem, for one, I think, and move on. You don't need to be in someone's face day in and day out. Learn to be content by yourself if you have to. Right? Because I know for myself, 
if someone teases me or mocks me about wearing cheap clothes and if they are trying to conform me to be you know get those piercings and tattoos on my face and stuff like that let me stay away from that person right if if a person is trying to get me to pop some pills smoke some weed and stuff let me stay away from that person but kevin that person has so many friends that person is so popular kevin i have to be their friend even though i have to do bad things to be around that person there is something i believe there is something wrong with your self-esteem i think that is the problem if you aren't doing wrong you don't have to conform to a person's ideas unless what they are telling you will help you in the long run long run so let me stop here god bless you